My name is Camille Arrigo and I am the founder of Chez Camille, which is a showroom in Glasgow, but for Scotland, uh, for fashion design, furniture, art, music, all the different great things that are going on in Glasgow so the public can actually come and see them for themselves. It's not a gallery, it's not a shop, it's something that really is kind of interactive and social, so I wanted to give a place where people could go and actually network, um, collaborate, show their work and kind of see something different, I suppose, challenge them. For me, it's about not being a perfect shop, not being white wall and slick design. So it's about getting people to appreciate that these people actually work hard and this is why they do it, not for the money, for the passion, and kind of understand why it's actually nice to have things produced locally, ethically, that are made just for them and actually have a bit of soul to them. Because I think that that's what it comes down to, is you can't fake soul in a lot of places, any other shop you go to, it doesn't have soul. You can't have soul if you're a franchise, it's just not. So. We've got soul, that's why we're different. <laughs> Chez Camille hosts a number of exhibitions throughout the year. The current exhibition is called Hibernation. Um, it's a bit walk in the woods, it's a bit um, kind of scratching out of bed and pulling on something to keep cosy. Um, we've got some, some sheets here that are a bit sort of... This is the whole idea, they've, they've escaped from bed, they've crawled out the window and, and this is where they've ended up. Uh, we've got the forest has come to play, um, all kinds of things to snuggle up in. So it's, just, it's kind of just being atmospheric. It's about taking a space and saying, we've got a really li nice open space. You might as well do something with it and something that kind of inspires people. Personally, I'm, I'm a poet. So my, my biggest love is words. I think people don't read books, let alone poetry anymore. So finding art and design and literature and kind of putting them all together. Um, because somehow it's not seen as the same as an art, as a fine art, which to me it is. So watch this space. Mm -hmm. Getting around in Glasgow couldn't be easier. You can jump in a taxi which costs £7 for up to 3 miles, buses cost £2 for most rides, and alternatively you can take the underground, which at a pound is the cheapest way to travel. Hey. How are you? Good, how was your day? Yeah, it was great, thanks. Good. As you can see, there's a lot more to Glasgow than meets the eye, and hopefully you'll get here yourself soon. Well, that's just about all for us today on City Life. If you'd like any more information on today's programme, please visit our website which is www.channel4.com forward slash satellite. Next week we're going to be in Manchester, home of the Manchester music scene and one of Europe's largest student populations. Until next week, we'll see you later.